Daria here. I feel like it's been a while since I've really touched base with my subscribers, so I just want to put out a quick update video to talk about what's been going on with the channel. For the most part this week, I've been playing Dragon Quest Builders. I got this the day after it came out, and I haven't left Chapter 1 yet because I'm just not ready to let go of my settlement. I've been having so much fun pimping out Cantlin that I'm pretty satisfied just doing this. When you move on to, you know, when you progress in the chapters throughout the game, you keep starting over from scratch. You lose your equipment, you lose your items that you've discovered, all the mater materials that you've gathered and, you know, forged. So, I'm not ready to let go of all that yet. But anyway, that's that's not why we're here. We're here to talk about my channel, not Dragon Quest Builders. Although there will be a little bit of that going on too. Anyway, um, later on this week, you can look forward to my Treasure Hunter G review that's going to be out. That's another fan-translated Super Nintendo game. I have a lot of fun playing those, and Tre Treasure Hunter G has been no exception. I've just got to... I've already started splicing together the video. I just have to re-record the voiceover um, because I discovered the audio had a lot of white noise. You know, that shh sound. And I just wasn't happy with it. I can do better. I know I can do better. And you deserve better, so... After Treasure Hunter G, I have Kudelka, which is supposed to be my October Halloween special, but I don't know if I'm going to make that deadline. Um, but this is the game that my Patreon supporters voted for. If you didn't know I have a Patreon, I do. My page is at patreon.com slash dariaplaysrpgs. If you feel like being extra generous and donating whatever, you are more than welcome to do so, and I am more than grateful to you. If you don't, no big deal, but it's there. Hey, why not? Um, you can find that in the link in the description. Um, anyway, so yeah, Kudelka, which is a PlayStation horror RPG that's sort of the prequel to the whole Shadow Heart series. Uh, this is a game that I have beaten before in the past, and I really enjoyed it then. That was some years ago, so I don't know if my opinion is going to hold up when I go to replay it. It is a little easy, but we'll see. So you can look forward to that. Um, what else? I recently put together a video, which you have probably seen, um, which was the comparison of Dragon Quest VII 3DS to Dragon Warrior VII on PlayStation. That really took off, and something like 40,000 people have watched it. I got a big influx of subscribers from that alone, which was awesome. And if you're one of those people, welcome to the channel. You know, feel free to check out all the other videos I've done. Mostly I do cover older games, um, but not exclusively. Obviously, as you can see here, I just love role-playing games. New, old doesn't matter to me. I play it all. Um, I also put out a video for Dragon Quest Builders, but that was based on the demo, and after having played the game, I feel like that video might be a little outdated already. There's just a lot of stuff I was iffy on, uh, because I wasn't quite sure how it worked. Mainly, you know, progressing to new chapters, and how the Terra Incognito mode worked. I mean, at the time, I didn't even know that was the name, I just called it Home, but... So yeah, I might, I might do an update on that at some point. I don't know. Right now I'm just having fun casually playing this on my own. I'm not streaming it. I'm not really producing any content from it. I'm just immersing myself in this experience wholly and enjoying it. Um, let's see. I recently got a shout out from the Wii guy, which was awesome. Thank you, Nico. Much appreciated. I think that's, uh, I've gotten a few shout outs in the past. I've gotten two I know from Pam over at Cannot Be Tamed, which is also an awesome channel. If you haven't watched that yet, you should check out her stuff. She does great reviews on retro and newer titles, just all sorts of genres. I enjoy watching her. Uh, in addition to, 
D-pad Danny, who I actually owe like a tag response video. Uh, gosh, I think he tagged me like a month or two ago and I haven't gotten to that yet. I'm so sorry, Danny. Uh, but he does Let's Plays and Reviews. Again, uh, all these channels I'm just kind of throwing out here. I'm going to, again, put the links in the description -y area. And please check them out. Um, there's just... I don't know. I talked to a great group of other YouTube content people, you know, mainly on Twitter and, you know, sometimes Discord. And we have a lot of fun. It's just a really great community of retro gamers that are also friendly and also supportive. And if I could just name all of them, I would just usher in whole legions of people their directions. But that's not quite how it works. So just take my word for it. These channels are great. Um, also, be sure to check out Lucius T. Um, his reviews are hilarious. He actually covers a lot of the same games that I do, but with a more funny, skitsy spin to it. He's got these, like, his cats talk to you, and it's it's bizarre and hilarious, and there's, like, explosions, and it's great. Honestly, you, you need to see it. I, don't, I can't even describe the awesomeness. You just need to go see, go see it for yourself. Um, anyway, I've moved back into the same building again. This is Pippa and Claire's house. I, this is one of the reasons I don't really want to move on. I've grown so attached to these NPCs and I've built them little homes and decorated. This is the armory slash dressing room. I've turned like this, this was like the starter building that this town gave me and I've turned it to like this three story monstrosity. I have a lot of fun just plopping down random pieces of furniture and seeing what kind of weird rooms I can discover. Like, this is the pot room. One of the NPCs actually mentioned, like, you should put a chest and a bunch of pots in a room. And it wasn't even, like, a quest. He just kind of, it was an offhanded comment. I was like, that's a good idea. I'm going to do that. And it made a pot room. And now all my NPCs make more pots for me. And let's just go up here a moment. This is the third garden that I've actually put in this town. That's when you know you've played a area for too long is when you're just plopping down gardens everywhere. It's like playing SimCity. It's like, here, have a garden, be happy. Look at my wonderful landscape of the region. This is actually the botanical garden because I have so many different kind of plants in it. Uh, over on the other side of town, which we went to earlier there was like the grassy garden because it just had grass and this is my inn i had like this idea where i wanted to make like a really fancy hotel but chapter one like the best bed you can get is the straw mattress so it made the grody guest house i just find that hilarious um and then up here i stuck another private residence this is kind of cool these little plaques uh you can assign buildings to specific NPCs so they will always go and sleep in that particular bed which is nice because it keeps them out of my bed that was really annoying me when I first started I'd like go to sleep and Rolo would be sleeping in my bed it's like what the, get, get the fuck out of here anyway uh had a lot of fun with the roof tiles also I can't make those yet I had to like go and scavenge them from like a fallen down castle and then out here I decided to make a graveyard I was kind of experimenting to see if I could build buildings outside the town barrier and it I don't know if it's really working it told me that this this is this is a building it told me I made a building but it's not like a specific kind of building and I feel like it should be like with all these tombstones I, I feel like it should have made a graveyard and I even put like little bones under each grave and it didn't do anything so I should probably try that at some point, like actually inside the town. But I won't do it on this map, I'll do it on another map. I'm just gonna come over here and kill some slimes. Hiya! Ah! Die, fucker! Give me your ooze. Ooze is very important. You need to make pots and torches. And then you use those torches to make more lights, and everything just builds off of everything else, and I need all the components ever! Give me, give me, give me, give me! Give me. <sighs> anyway, back over here. This is my city defenses that I had to put up. This is like my pit. I had trouble with monsters. The hammer hoods would come over here and start destroying the brick walls. And everywhere else I put stone wall. 
up around the building, kind of wrapped it around so they couldn't do that. But I didn't want to cover up these windows. But the pit works great because they just like fall in and get stuck and they can't figure out that they're supposed to climb up the ladder. So they just kind of wander around until they die. And it's made my city completely impenetrable. And these spikes capture all the monsters, just kind of like the skeletons that wander around. They usually die on the walls. Only thing I really have trouble with is ghosts, but then my NPCs come out and kick their butts. So absolutely nothing gets in anymore. My, my city is totally safe. I'm very happy about that. And this is, this is hilarious. I love the fire that spews out of there. And now I'm going to give you the rooftop view. And I'm stuck. But yeah, I've got these awesome shoes. I, I know I'm going to like lose these when I move on to the next area, but I get double jump shoes. And I, I've grown so attached to them, I don't want to give up my shoes. They're awesome. Yay. Anyway. So yeah, that's that's pretty much all that's been going on. And this is pretty much my town. I don't really have anything else to say, so I should probably just cut it off. Anyway, uh, thank you for sitting through 11 minutes of me bullshitting about nothing. And again, uh, check out my upcoming review. Check out those channels I mentioned. I'm going to, again, you'll find the links in the description. And have a great day. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.